The F06 error code on your Whirlpool washer indicates a serious problem with the drive motor system. When this error appears, your washer may stop spinning completely or refuse to function at all. The error can also appear as E01 slash F06, which specifically indicates a communication problem between two critical components, the motor control unit and the central control unit. To understand this error, we need to know the key components involved. The drive motor is responsible for rotating the washing drum. If it fails, the drum simply won't spin. The motor control unit, or MCU, regulates the motor's speed and direction. When the MCU malfunctions, it can completely disrupt motor control, leading to the F06 error. The central control unit, or CCU, serves as the main control board that communicates with the MCU. Problems with the CCU or its communication with the MCU can trigger the E01 F06 error variant. The wiring connections between these components are critical. Damaged, loose, or disconnected wires between the MCU and motor can cause the F06 error. Additionally, a faulty tachometer, which measures motor speed, can also trigger this error. According to repair experts, a faulty motor control unit is often the root cause of the E01 F06 error. Understanding these components and their relationships is essential for proper diagnosis and repair. The first step in troubleshooting the F06 error is to reset your washer. This simple procedure can often resolve temporary communication issues between components. If the reset doesn't work, you'll need to access the internal components. Start by unplugging the washer and turning off the water supply. Then remove the top and rear panels to access the control units. Next, carefully inspect all wiring connections to the CCU and MCU. Look for loose connections, damaged wires, or any signs of corrosion. Also check for burn marks or other visible damage on the control units themselves. To test the drive motor, you'll need a multimeter. Disconnect power first, then access the motor and test for continuity in the motor windings. This will help determine if the motor itself is functioning properly. Check the motor pulley by turning it by hand. It should rotate smoothly without binding or excessive resistance. If the pulley is difficult to turn or feels rough, this indicates a motor problem. Finally, ensure all wire harness connections between the drive motor, tachometer, and MCU are secure. You can also run the washer's diagnostic mode for additional testing. To prevent future F06 errors, avoid overloading your washer as this puts excessive strain on the motor and control units.